8 of the biggest Hell in a Cell botches and mistakes. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. Number 1. Finn Balor gets busted open at WrestleMania 39. Now, the payoff to the extended rivalry between Finn Balor and Edge took place at WrestleMania 39, and to mark the occasion, WWE would bring back the Hell in a Cell. There was a ton of hype heading into the match, especially with Balor bringing back his demon persona. However, most of the online discourse following the match related to Edge winning, as well as a botch that seemed to ruin the momentum and pacing of the match. And that botch saw Balor get hit straight in the face with a ladder, and this led to Balor suffering a very nasty cut. Bella would reflect on the botch during an appearance on What's the Story and this is what the inaugural Universal Champion had to say. I turned around and I thought, no problem, it's coming straight up at me, I'll just put my hands out. So I put my hands up, but the rungs of the ladder went straight through the gaps of my hands. So the ladder's still coming. I'm like, there's a ladder still coming. Why is the ladder still coming at me? I've got my hands up. Why are my hands blocking it? A Bella would then describe this scene as a waterfall of blood. And then at the last second, I just dropped my chin and it got me in the head. I thought, ow, that stung. But it wasn't a bad bang or anything. It wasn't a concussion. It wasn't like I went out for a minute. It was nothing. And then I went down and went, whew, that was weird. And then I went on my back. So I rolled over onto all fours. And then I see the waterfall of blood just drip, 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 drip. Now this wound had to go down as one of the nastiest cuts in Hell in a Cell history. As the aftermath of the cut is even too extreme for us to show on YouTube. Number 2. Bailey Gets Frustrated Hell in a Cell 2020 The WWE talent were put in a difficult position in 2020 as they took part in the Hell in a Cell event without any actual audience. The show was presented in the Thunderdome, and whilst it was awkward to watch as a viewer, the names involved did a great job under terrible circumstances. Bailey and Sasha Banks were two of the names that would collide in a cell, and outside one botch, the match received universal praise from fans and critics alike. The botch occurred when Bailey would introduce two kendo sticks into the match, and she would begin to tape the two sticks together to create some kind of barrier between the ring apron and the cell itself. It's unclear what the plan for this spot was, as Bailey couldn't wrap them together, and Bailey became increasingly frustrated that the two sticks weren't cooperating. Bailey played this up well, as she even screamed at Michael Cole, which added great humor to the unfortunate botch. Number three, Roman Reigns avoids complete disaster. Hell in a Cell 2020. Speaking of the 2020 Hell in a Cell event, Roman Reigns would take on Jey Uso inside the cell. This cell had the added stipulation of being an I Quit matchup. Now, there was a big botch in the match that could have seriously hurt Reigns, and it was a miracle that he walked away without any injury. Towards the close of the match, Reigns attempted to throw the steel steps over the top rope to cause more damage to Jay. Whilst this spot on paper sounds easy to deliver, the steps managed to bounce back in the opposite direction from what Reigns intended. The steps managed to miss Reigns, which was lucky as this would have caused a significant head injury. Number 4. The Cell Almost Gives Way, No Way Out 2000 Due to the horrors of Mankind vs. The Undertaker from 1998, WWE knew that they needed to reinforce the cell when they delivered Cactus Jack vs. Triple H at No Way Out 2000. There was a spot in the match where Foley would be backdropped by the game through the top of the cell, and this was done thanks to a loose panel. However, when Triple H and Foley were brawling at the top of the cell, a corner of the cell gave way and Triple H almost fell through. Luckily, Triple H was perfectly okay, but this could have been an absolute disaster, especially when it's taken into consideration that the corner of the cell imploding would have led to Triple H having the worst landing imaginable right down to the floor below. Number 5. Seth Rollins Can't Feel His Legs – Hell in a Cell 2018 Wrestlers taking bumps from the side or top of the Hell in a Cell isn't exactly rare. However, WWE must ensure that they protect their talent. When Seth Rollins took a bump from the side of the cell in 2018, it looked like WWE didn't pad the announce table enough, as Rollins would go into horrendous detail during an interview with Dan LaBattard, and according to the WWE Champion, he legitimately thought he wasn't going to be able to wrestle again. I've taken a couple of falls off the side of the Hell in a Cell structure, and I've fallen off the side of that a couple of times through our announce desk, and the most recent which was 5 or 6 years ago at this point, I thought, that was it, I'm never getting up, that's the end of it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to move my legs after this. It was so painful, I thought. I don't know if I'll ever be able to wrestle again. Number 6. Shane McMahon's Fall From Grace, WrestleMania 32 When it comes to panning out the announce table or making it sure it cushions a blow, it's never been more important than when a wrestler jumps from the top of the cell structure. In 2016 at WrestleMania 32, Shane McMahon leaped from the top of the cage and his aim was to land on The Undertaker. Unfortunately for McMahon, the dead man moved at the last second, and this resulted in him going crashing through the announce table. 
At this spot should have been executed in a way that McMahon would come away with zero injuries, but that wasn't what happened. It's not clear if there was a botch when it came to McMahon's landing, or if there was a botch with the table, but McMahon was hurt in a big way. McMahon would open up regarding his injuries during an interview with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm thinking straight up, I'm thinking I'm gonna nail this thing. That's it. It's not so much, it's not the flight, it's the sudden stop that gets you. That's when you're laying there like a guppy trying to get a breath going. Oh my god, counting ribs. I cracked two ribs in my side, at least two. I was sore for about eight, nine weeks. It was tight. Number 7. Mick Foley Counts to 3 Hell in a Cell 2018 the main event of Hell in a Cell in 2018 received widespread criticism. The Hell in a Cell used to be a match type that ends rivalries, yet in 2018, WWE decided to end the match in a no contest. The match featured Braun Strowman facing Roman Reigns for the Universal title inside Hell in a Cell. And to make the match extra special, WWE added WWE legend and Hell in a Cell veteran Mick Foley as a guest referee. Unfortunately, Foley wasn't able to change the perception of the match, and it also didn't help that he botched a key spot. During the match, Strowman would hit Reigns with a choke slam, and Foley accidentally counted to three. This was covered up directly on commentary by being labeled as a very close two count, but fans were fully aware that Foley had messed up in a big way, and Foley's face indicated that he knew that he was likely to be called out on it afterwards. Luckily for Foley, the non-finish involving Brock Lesnar interfering overshadowed his botch, and by the time he came back through the curtain, the focus was probably on the negative fan reception to the main event finish. And number 8. Tim White Bumps Too Hard Judgment Day 2002 Referee bumps in Hell in a Cell matches are a common place, and in 2002, Tim White took a botch bump that changed his career forever. The idea was that White would take a bump into the side of the cell structure during the Chris Jericho vs Triple H bout, however, White managed to botch this by putting too much force into the bump, and he was seriously hurt as a result. White's shoulders were so messed up following the match that he would have to take a leave of absence from his referee duties, and when he eventually returned in 2004, he re-injured his shoulder in the first match back. When White passed away, Jericho took to Instagram to share a tribute to White, and he discussed the match itself. Timmy told me to throw him into the cage as hard as I could, so it looked real. He took that bump so effing hard that he tore out his shoulder and never reffed again. I felt awful, but he always said to me, I told you to throw me into the cage hard. You did exactly what I asked you to do. Now let's go have a beer. This is one of those hundred stories that I could tell about this great man. I will miss him forever. The wrestling biz will never see another man this loyal and this proud to be a part of the business and to be one of the boys. But there you have it folks, 8 of the biggest Hell in a Cell botches and mistakes. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.